in, in the five-year course of the Preventive Technologies Agreement, one of the real highlights was in the International AIDS Conference in Vienna, Austria in the summer of 2010. So uh, Dr. Slim Abdul Karim presented the results of the Caprisa 04 study, the first time that an antiretroviral agent had shown protection for HIV infection, and the first time that a woman-controlled vaginal microbicide had shown to be effective. Caprisa 004 was the first study to show that women had a method that they could use to prevent HIV infection. It received a standing ovation at the Vienna Conference in 2010 and was one of the most proud days of my life to participate in that particular day. Personally, I think working with with the uh, extraordinary team and group of individuals, both at FHI 360 as well as our collaborators in the field, made every day a really uh, special day in, in, uh, and made me really want to get up and come to work every day, never knowing what to expect. One of the things that really excited me under the PTA was the ability to be engaged with the science of something like Caprice 004 and also to be working on issues around community engagement in that science. Bringing those two streams together, listening to what communities had to say, hearing what advocates had to say, and then also seeing what scientists had to say and how those things interface with each other. To me, that was really invigorating and exciting. What I feel most proud of is that we were able to address a number of different issues, that we had a range of different research responses to the questions that, were, that kept evolving. Research isn't static. One research study poses new research questions. And because of the breadth of FHI 360's research capabilities, we were able to work on a number of different issues and work together synergistically. The most satisfying part of the PTA to me was the opportunity to collaborate with our African partners to continue our research to identify new products to keep women in Sub-Saharan Africa HIV negative. The highlight under the PTA for me was knowing that I helped ensure the quality of close to three billion condoms that are that are going into the market. Personally, this work under the Preventive Technologies Agreement is so important because it's about advancing women's rights. And in particular, women living with or at risk of HIV, they have a right to have children if they want to have children, and they have a right to prevent pregnancy if they do not want to become pregnant. When I traveled to the clinical sites, the FemPrep clinical trial sites, women were so excited and hopeful to have a mechanism to protect themselves from HIV infection. The highlight of the PTA for me was to be a part of a program that is involved in monitoring the quality assurance of products for people that need reproductive health commodities in the field. For me, when we um, had a satellite session at the AIDS conference, there were young people there who were living with HIV who spoke about living with HIV and as it was very gratifying to hear them talk about what their their needs are and their hopes are and how um, they had been, um, how providers had been helpful to them in, in both their treatment of HIV and in planning for their future and knowing that resources and materials that we've developed under, under the Preventive Technologies Agreement for providers will assist them in continuing that work. Well, for me personally, I think the most exciting part of the Preventive Technologies Agreement was in 2010, when in the space of a few months, there were three significant research findings regarding prevention of HIV. This is not a new antacid that you might buy at the drugstore. This is a new product that had, has not been marketed in some cases that will prevent an incredibly serious disease. I've been in research for decades, and I still get emotional. So one thing that, that comes to mind when I think about the Preventive Technologies Agreement is just the number of times that we've worked with different people in the field. Um, when you get to go out and you meet them, you know, it's like your family, and you care about what happens to them, and you want the projects to succeed. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But you build this bond with them 
and and it's it's you know you're working in the field and you get to see where it matters and where it counts and that really inspires you to do well.